Hello, and welcome to our lesson on pictograms. So a pictogram is a way of representing information. And we're going to construct a pictogram from this information here. To begin with, we need to use a key. Now, the key will be one full circle is equal to four pads. So now we can represent this frequency of 16 with four full circles, because four lots of four is 16. We can represent the 10 people who prefer cats with two lots of four plus half a circle because half of four is two. So now we have four, eight, and 10. Do you want to try and complete the pictogram for the hamsters, the rabbits, and the other? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So 13 people prefer the hamster. So we have four, eight, 12 and we need one more and one is a quarter of four so we can have one quarter of a circle for rabbits we have four eight and twelve that is three full circles and any other type of pet we have four eight and we need another quarter circle to make nine so that would be our pictogram it's really important that when we do a pictogram we have a key which shows what the symbol means. Okay, let's try another question. The pictogram shows the number of customers using a coffee shop during lunch hour one week. How many customers use the coffee shop on Thursday? Do you want to try questions A, B, and C yourself? Can I pause in the video and you can resume it when you're ready? Our key tells us that one picture represents 20 customers. On Thursday, you can see we have three lots of 20, so we have 60 customers. For question B, how many customers use the coffee shop on Tuesday? So again, we have three full pictures, so three times 20. We have half a picture here, which is half of 20, which is 10. So we have a 60 plus the 10, which is 70. And for question C, how many more customers use the coffee shop on Monday than Saturday? On Monday, we have six lots of 20, which is 120. And on Saturday, we have four lots of 20, plus the half, which is 10. And so this is 90. And the difference between the two is 30. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful.